downloadedness comes from AEW, especially after the arrival of one Miro. And we all heard the promo. We loved it. I won. I for one did. Um, fuck that imaginary brass ring, right? But I think everybody else heard it as well. And I think Miro is a little worried now because maybe one Vince McMahon might not like it and take it out on Lana, who's still out there in WWE having matches and getting buried. Yo, what you think was going to happen? I mean, didn't we just see something similar when it comes to John Moxley? Right? You think Renee Young got buried? I don't think she got buried. She just got repositioned. And at some point, she's like, I'm good. I'm going to go see what else is out there. Because you're talking about a, a young lady, a professional that up and coming in, in the industry, not just the wrestling industry, in the sports world, right? She's well liked. She, they were made her a, an announcer, like an actual color commentator and stuff. And she goes from the announce table to being on Raw Talk on the network. Right. You know I mean, like right. it was a it was a little confusing there for a minute. That, that's the nice way of. Uh, you know y'all I mean? saw how hard she got put through that table. I don't know. I don't know if I yeah. I, I, yeah, I, Lana. I see Lana getting put through a table more because Renee was bringing back like a concept that had worked previously. And at least at face value, it looked like they were committing to that. But like, yo, Renee Young, you are like the head of this project. You think they buried Lana on on Monday? I think they certainly did nothing to help her final alignment. My my question for you is, can you bury Lana? All the things they've had Lana do, can you really bury her? Lana Lana doesn't doesn't die, son. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, they've done a lot, bro. (laughs) They've done a lot. Like, this is a rock called her... A whore, like, <laughs> but who hasn't he called a he whore? To be honest, with a big black guy for a few months. You know what I mean? Like, I feel they were. I feel they were legit in what they did. Uh, they pants. they need Come to get now. um. They need to get Baszler over though, and Nia on Monday. I don't think it was a burial of some yeah. of normal. I, I don't well, think it's it a was burial, a burial but, of normal proportions. But you could have you could have demolished her without putting her through a table. Nah, why? Let's nah, make it dangerous. Nah, nah, nah. Fuck that. that, that, was, that brass was ring, bro. That was the brass ring, bro. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nah. Uh huh. Oh, 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 oh,
heat that fucking Kurt Angle gets, right, when he goes on social media or he, when he goes places and people are chanting he sucks because he's embraced it. But yeah. there's got a part of all of this that, like, Lana's got to understand that, like, it's it's a yes, character sir. thing and, like, you kind of did it because it was part of your job and it's 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 because you're good at your job. You can, It's almost a compliment in a sick, twisted kind of way. All of that. I, I, thought, I, thought, I took it as a word from Lana. Look. Here's my thing. thing. Look, if you if you if you look at if you read Roddy Piper's book, arguably one of the best heels to ever do it, he will tell you there was not an arena he would have get spit at, drinks thrown at him. He knew people would be waiting for him to kick his ass by his car, but he just was a badass dude. And, hey, we can do this. And this is the seventies, the eighties. I mean, this is what it was. If you were a bad guy, if you were heel. You expect this, and unfortunately, with social media, we've gone to a place where it gets scary. Where people have way too much access. We're, we invite they, their jobs now have turned not only into what they do in the ring, but also their own personal marketing team when it comes to social media. So they expose a lot of themselves. Right? I think Sami Zayn is a big advocate for that too. He, I've been, I've heard him say that a few times. How the fans are just too, too accessible to, to their lives and stuff. Well, well, that's you know, you bring up Roddy Piper. It, we there was always heat on Roddy Piper. No one came searching for Roderick Toombs, right? right. Whereas yeah. there's heat for Lana, but then people are coming for CJ Perry. That's uh, that that's got a lot to do with how accessible CJ Perry is and what the yeah. WWE has done in terms of trademark. Right. Like yep. didn't yo didn't we just talk about last week? The, uh, my dude, like makes you use your 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 real name now, right? That mm-hmm. makes you now because he owns it. Yeah, that, that's target number one. Now your name is out there. Like, now you're findable. You're a real human person people can look for. And that sucks. But that's kind of like, right? Like, that's what happens when you get famous and your job is to be the bad guy. It sucks. It shouldn't happen. But then, like, Roddy Piper should also not get spit at. It's the, like, to me, I don't know, am I all based? To me, that's kind of like the equivalent now, right? Like, you could just tweet shit. You could just be like, yo, this guy's trash. Blah, that's blah, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly that's what, what it that's is. That's what being over as a heel was back then. I mean, I guess the equivalent of being over, because you're not over if you're a heel. You have heat if you're a heel back then. So that, that right, that's what it was. You're good at, yeah, you're, you're good at your job, right? Like, you're good at getting heat. Like, you're good at being the bad yeah. guy. And I think, like, this is... This is kind of the carryover from that. Not that it's cool or okay, but it's explained that way. And I think that it's, it's, you gotta, at this point, like, what are you gonna do? Like, you can't eliminate that. Right. Yeah. You kind of, no. it exists and you kind of have to deal, unfortunately, because yeah. you're a famous person. I'm it, sure it's there like are other famous people. In every generation, play. there's been things they've had to adapt to, right? Even when it comes to the actual lifestyle. It's part of the next evolution of it. You know, they have to be able to manage this in a certain way. But I think also there has to be some parameters to that in order to protect your, your privacy and your personal identity. And that's the big piece. But then that restricts you from being able to do things outside of the industry, right? And that's where you have C.J. Perry. That's the problem. Right? She's had careers outside of this. She's been acting. She also it was a model. Um, and... I mean, that's just unfortunate reality of uh, what we have when it comes to the industry today. What we need to do is just, you know, these sick old fans, we need to, you know, castrate them. That's, this, is, this is what it is. Shout out Listen, to Bret Hart speeches. You want that's, a, that's a lot of castration. Yo, <laughs> shout out to the fan that chased Moxley the other day, right? Like, we were just watching that. Oh, yeah. Right I thought oh, that was a security him. guard. The tackling a fan, puto. Yeah. Like, that's oh. what was happening. That's crazy, though. Like they yeah. just jump in like nothing these days. No, uh, we've been at we've been at shows where fans want to get at it with with the wrestlers. Like this is real. People really get feelings. That's called like, talent. Hey. Are, that's talent. People get so hurt that they well, want to smack somebody. Right. That means you're doing a real great job. 